Okay, uh, welcome once again. Uh, we are in the last section, section 10 of chapter 1. And this is also a very important area that you, as a new nursing assistant, have to be informed about because some things will happen. Sometimes unexpected things will happen and you need to know what to do, how to react, okay? There's something called an incident and something called accidents, unexpected events. There's some that have more serious complications, all right? Uh, and we'll be talking about those in just a bit. So you have to know what an incident is. An incident is obviously something that was unexpected, such as a fall. You can't expect someone to fall. Sometimes residents fall for many reasons, but that is considered an incident. Damage to a patient property. Uh, you mistakenly did something on the resident you shouldn't have. Perhaps maybe you shouldn't have gotten the patient up to the chair by yourself. Maybe you needed a second person. Uh, any uh, special requests that are out of your scope of practice, for example, a nurse asking you to administer medications when you don't know how to administer medications, that is considered an incident. Uh, any um, sexual advances or remarks from the resident or from another coworker, those are considered incidents. Unsafe or uncomfortable situations, such as sexual harassment or not having the proper equipment to work in the facility. Any injuries to yourself, such as back injuries, any falls for yourself or even exposures to blood or body fluids those are incidents that need to be reported again these are not uh, punitive that means the employer is not going to fire you or lay you off for you know because something happened to you or something happened or you're coming forward and reporting something that you saw this is not punitive by by all means you need to come forward and report any uh, incidents that you encounter along the way during your work day all right, so what do you do now that you've run into an incident? Well, first of all, you gotta write it down. In your documentation, again, you have to be precise and to the point. Do not assume anything that you did not see. Only the facts have to be included in the report. Tell what happened in a very brief story, all right? Describe the person's reaction if there was another person involved, maybe the resident fell. Again, state the facts only. Only what you saw, what you heard, what the resident told you or somebody else told you, only state the facts. Do not document an incident report uh, was completed on the medical record. Incident reports are documented on a separate sheet, okay? We usually refer this to a risk management, okay? So anything that happened that has to do uh, with uh, something like an incident goes in a separate part. It is not part of the medical record, so you should not document right, that a patient had a fall or any incident on the medical record itself. It goes on another um, document form, such as a risk management form. And of course, describe the action that was taken. What did you do if this is a resident uh, incident? Did you call for help? You stay with the resident? What else did you do for the, for the resident at this time? So make sure that you uh, document, again, what you did for the resident. If it's not documented, then you really didn't do it. All right, so that is pretty much it for chapter one. We've reached the end of uh, chapter one. Uh, hopefully you have a better picture of what a long-term care is, who, what healthcare team members are involved, the your responsibilities as uh, your job description, the services you will be providing for residents or patients, uh, again, I hope you grabbed a better, have a better understanding of what a long-term care facility is, okay? So, uh, thank you for your attention. We're going to move on to the next chapters. And uh, please stay tuned as we continue our journey into the long-term care facility and the nurse assistant profession. Thank you all for your attention and I'll see you soon.